Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today I'm kicking off a new series I'm calling The Change Log. And so the idea of this series is to be a video version of the release notes that you get with notable updates to apps that I think are important. And so you get app updates in your app stores or whatever, and you get release notes there, or maybe the company posts a blog post with some uh, kind of more details on what they added. But I really like seeing this stuff in video form, and so I wanted to provide that for some of the apps. I don't have a full list of what I'm gonna cover, what I'm not, but when an app has a release that I think is notable, I wanna do a video like this where I quickly go over what's new, what you can expect from the update, and kind of show you as much as I can in action. So let's jump into the first one. So Ulysses is my favorite writing app. I love it on all platforms, and they just released version 22 today. And so what's new in the update? The thing I'm most excited about in this update is tragically something I can't use because I don't use WordPress, uh, but is the ability to edit posts that you've previously done to your WordPress site from Ulysses. And so this isn't the full sync of your WordPress account or anything uh, into Ulysses, but when you publish an article from Ulysses, when you take a sheet in Ulysses and publish it to WordPress, those are linked. They're intrinsically linked forevermore. <laughs> and basically when you make a change to the sheet in Ulysses in the future, you can go ahead and republish those changes to WordPress. It will update the post. So you can change your tags, you can change the title, you can fix a typo somewhere in the post. You can do all of this if you'd like uh, through this editing functionality, which is pretty great. Um, again, if you didn't publish it through Ulysses originally, then it's not gonna work. Uh, if you make a change on your WordPress site, it does not sync that back to Ulysses. So you can get them out of sync. It's not perfect, but it is definitely an improvement over what they had before. And if you work entirely from Ulysses, this is gonna be really great. The second big new feature in this update, and really the only other big new feature in this update, is the ability to post to microblog sites. Uh, so if you have a micro.blog site, uh, you're now able to publish to it from Ulysses. So if you're doing tweet style updates, you can do that. You can also do full blog posts with titles and pictures and all that stuff. So that's really nice. It supports tags, it supports a couple things, uh, additional metadata items. Uh, not a ton compared to WordPress and Ghost, but there's definitely some stuff there, and that's partially just because microblog supports fewer things. But yeah, for people who publish to Microblog, this is a huge update and makes Ulysses, in my opinion, instantly the leader in publishing to that platform. Uh, because as far as I know, there isn't a great app for writing uh, kind of long form things and publishing to Microblog sites. Uh, so this is a huge update, super simple to set up, and I'm sure people who use the service will be excited to see this. And that's really it for the big uh, feature updates. We do have some design changes, some quality of life things I just wanted to go over real quick. Uh, we have the ability to add colors to your group icons in the sidebar. This is just nice for organization if you have a lot of things over there. Uh, I'm using a couple colors that help me coordinate what I'm working on. That's nice. Uh, they also added the ability to change the heading sizes for your themes. So Ulysses supports themes for the editor. You can make it look different ways. And now you're able to make your headings be different font sizes from the rest of the text on your sheet, uh, which is nice. I'm kind of surprised this wasn't here before, but yeah, just uh, is a new thing. Uh, the new D22 system font that Ulysses ships with already has this built in, but if you have built a custom theme for yourself or have used one from their, uh, their theme directory, you're able to get those as well. So keep an eye out for new themes in Ulysses that have custom font sizes for headings. And then we're really into the small stuff. Uh, they added support for the New York font face, which is Apple's serif font, uh, which looks really nice. Uh, I kind of wish I was able to set it for just the headings, but not the body of my uh, themes, but uh, maybe that's an update for later. Uh, they also added the new sheet button straight to the sh list sheet or sheet list view. <laughs> uh, they added that there. Uh, we used to have to go to the three dots and then say new sheet, which was too many taps uh, for the thing that you do basically every single time you go to that page. Uh, so I'm really happy to see that updated. And then we're really scratching the bottom of the barrel, but these are, I think, important to some people. Uh, you can now double tap on an item in the sidebar on your iPad and it will open it straight into editing with the cursor in the document. I don't use this a ton actually because the cursor seems to always go to the top of the document which means I have to tap somewhere else to actually put it where I want it to go. So that's not super useful to me, but is there. And uh, I'm sure there'll be someone who that is useful for. And then they also made it so on the iPhone and iPad, when you're going between sheets, it remembers your scroll position. So if you're working with long documents, especially, this is gonna be super useful. You can tap into one document, make your edits, like scroll down, do all the things near the bottom of the document, tap into another one, like maybe they're your reference notes or something, you can check that out. And when you tap back to the one you were in previously, it'll still be at the bottom for you and you won't have to scroll all the way to the bottom like you used to. So that's a nice quality of life thing. 
So that's version 22 of Ulysses. I think it's a solid update to the app. And if you're a microblog or WordPress user, I think it's a great update to the app. But yeah, this was my first try at this new format, the changelog. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button below. If there's other apps you want me to talk about in this sort of style, if there's other updates that have come out recently or you know are coming out, I'd love to hear that in the comments um, and I can kind of get that on my radar as a thing that I should do. But yeah, I kind of enjoy the format myself. This is the sort of thing that I would like to see more on YouTube. So uh, if I can do it and you guys get value out of it, I'd love to see that. So again, hit the like button. That tells me that you like the video. It also tells YouTube this is a channel they should recommend and helps the channel grow. So I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next time.